Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. What if Craven told the truth? Fairly sprouted was the band of the in the grind they lost. Me, Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeletal horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye. That's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men. Like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came. Cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Yen, leave her alone. You don't understand. If we can learn where... I understand, and I'm still asking you to stop. You're right. Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This... this Ciri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before... before it all. She was in the stables, with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska... Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. 
nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Borgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds, but so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. Hey, Geralt! Come back! How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Yara, ye dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keelhaul you! Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nilfgaardian dogs were the hunters some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Ulver cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Liar. What? I swear it on the Great Mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. 
didn't see one thing though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morkvark's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Horson should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. It's what I do. Used to say the same myself. Till Morkvark gave the order to sail for Hindisfjall. I've raided often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When, when it was over and Morkvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolfang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my da, who was god eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop-pop mentioned how to reverse this? Victim needs to get the fang is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. Listen, the priestesses, they really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. Want one thing in return. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. Once Morkvog's human again, you can't let him leave. No matter what. My, my. That must be Morkvog. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again. <coughs> He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Care more and out from under you. Go already! Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Something down there, can't see a thing. Light prints, Craven trod carefully. No bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. 
Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Well, what is it? I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh-huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because... Because... No bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you? Zeracanian cuisine, dandelion's fame, and shoes with curly toes seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time? I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. To transform into a werewolf. It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse confined him to this garden? Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. Just wolfing things down, or not. Geralt, that's enough, hmm? Fine, still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. We'll say you won. What do you know about this garden? Let me think. That it's dreadfully overgrown? Had its history in mind. They say Freya herself planted it. When the world was young, the goddess strode across Skellige, sowing seeds among the rocks. But Erberos the snake bit a hole in her basket. All her seeds poured from it and landed here. Thus, this garden is bounteous while the rest of Skellige is barren. You believe that? Is that a serious question? Of course not. Favorable microclimate for plant life. End of story. All right. Going back down. Be careful. Lots of prints. Old and new. His lair must be nearby. Key. Ramond. Where's the key? All I have... In the chapter house, the crate, but the key, where's the key? Ah! Why so silent, Ramond? You thief, you rogue, you ah, ah, horse son, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! Now. Only now can I. Such is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work out. Uh, Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? Uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. I've shredded many. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. All but one. True treasure. Hid away. Yours. 
just help me. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Me? It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour turns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible. Ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns my throat. Throat. Like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help! Or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb! See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. See if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> Here, put this on. I need uh, no more fangs. Don't be a smart ass, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh. Where's the tavern? I could eat a broiled pig. <laughs> no, a side of beef. Wash it down with a cask of ale. Then to see. They forgot me, no doubt. Well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang in Novigrad everywhere. I'm back. Sorry, can't let that happen. Then why'd you bloody free me? To kill you, once and for all. And it, Witcher. Die. 